Hi, now I am going to discuss about the skill of stimulus variation and its components. The skill of stimulus variation can be defined as deliberately change in the attention drawing behaviors of the teacher in order to secure and sustain people's attention towards the lesson. It is very important for a teacher to ensure and sustain people's attention. For this purpose, the teacher uses some gestures, body movement, map certain verbal statement, etc. All these behaviors are related to stimulus variation. The skill of stimulus variation can be defined as deliberate change in the attention's drawing behavior of the teacher in order to secure and sustain people's attention towards the lesson. Competence and description of skill of stimulus variation. First common teacher movement. The description of the teacher movement competence are movement of the teachers from one spot to another with specific purpose. Most to the blackboard to write something on the board. Most to the back of the classroom and check what the students are doing. Purposeful movements of the teachers from one spot to another. Then component number two, teacher gesture. The description of the teacher gestures are gesture, body movement and facial expression for the following purposes. To direct attention, to emphasize importance, to explain emotions, to indicate size, shapes, etc. Nonverbal cues like body movement, facial expression, etc. The third component is change in sensory focus. The description of the change in sensory focus are Focusing people's attention on particular point or concept by using verbal statements like look at the blackboard, see the figure in the chart, etc. Gestures and both verbal statements and non-verbal cues. Making use of different senses like hearing, seeing, touching and so on. Then fourth component is change in speech pattern. The description of change in speech pattern components are voice modulation to pay special attention to a particular point variation in time pitch speed of voice and then fifth component physical people pattern the description of the physical people pattern are various in physical involvement of the students example the students move towards the blackboard to work out the problem students hold the chart and so on then last component verbal people pattern the description of the verbal people pattern components of involvement of the student through verbal communication style as teacher to group, teacher to student, student to student. Example, asking question, discussion, etc. Micro teaching helps in systematic and objective analysis of the pattern of classroom communication through specific observation schedule. Micro teaching stimulates the classroom scene and gives the teacher training and experience of real teaching. I hope that all of you understand the skill of stimulus variation and its components.